Removal is a very important component of the Digimon card game, and that is because it is intended to change the tide during any game situation. Other than just battling by attacking the opponent's Digimon with your own stronger ones, there are also a variety of effects that can remove the opponent's Digimon instead, ranging from returning back to the hand or deck, DP reduction, D-Digivolve, or even outright deleting them via these effects. Its main purpose is to get rid of the opponent's Digimon so that it helps you establish advantages in the battle area, hence being called removal. With each color containing different methods, and some that are really unique to their own card design, which type of removal is the strongest? And that is exactly what we're going to be talking about for today. To start off with the basics, there are tons of cards effects that simply delete an opponent's Digimon right away. Most of these effects are commonly seen across red, black, purple, and white cards but each color comes with various and specific requirements. The deletion of red cards are mainly based off of DP, and card effects usually requires a certain amount of DP threshold that is equal to or less than the opponent's Digimon that can be deleted. Examples include Valkyriemon and Volcanic Flare, which both delete the opponent's Digimon with 4,000 DP or less. On the flip side, there are also some other effects that delete the opponent's Digimon with DP that are over the threshold requirement, such as Plasma Stake and Gallantmon from BT13. Both these cards can delete the opponent's Digimon with 13,000 DP or more. There are also other effects that are like War Groundmon X Antibody and Jessmon from BT13, and these effects tend to delete multiple of the opponent's Digimon, summing up to a total amount of DP that meets that specific threshold, and it's very good for clearing wide boards. As for Black, the deletion effects are mainly based off of play cost of the Digimon, and that is usually listed within the specific amount that is equal to or less in the card text. And at times, it is capable of deleting the opponent's Digimon with the highest play cost from cards such as Alphamon or Ryuken and the BT6 Gankumon. For Purple, it has deletion effects based off level requirements, and cards such as Fly Bullet that deletes a Digimon that is level 6 or lower, or Hell's Gate that deletes an opponent's Digimon that's level 6 or higher. And at times, it also deletes unsuspended Digimon with cards just like Malo Mayorosmon from BT8. Lastly, for white, it contains various requirements that are usually tied into the related archetype or color which it digivolves from. But mainly, it can delete any Digimon once the exact conditions are met, which is very, very unique. To top it all off, red still also has Gaia Force, which is probably the strongest form of removal among all the deleting effects since there are no stipulations, no requirements for you to use the option card whatsoever other than having to pay 8 memory and having to have red source. Therefore, deleting effects are very good against most decks, except for those that have protection against it, which can be commonly seen across Greymon-related decks and other archetypes in black, such as Alphamon and Craniumon from BT13. It is also not very effective against some purple Digimon cards, where many of them have on-deletion effects, which can potentially benefit from being deleted. Overall, deletion effects are the most immediate ways to take out the opponent's Digimon by just sending it straight to the trash. Before we talk about the next effect, if you haven't done so yet, then be sure to subscribe, turn on that notification bell for more discussion videos like these. What other topics would you like to see me cover? Definitely give this video a like while you're at it if you enjoyed this kind of content. Something similar to deletion effects, we actually have retaliation. Retaliation can be considered as a semi-removal tool as a Digimon with this keyword can delete the opponent's Digimon after it battles against it. Retaliation mainly comes from purple and the Digimon's regular effect or inheritable effect, which does require a bit of preparation and commitment of losing your own Digimon at the same time. Therefore, the best form of usage of retaliation is to utilize a lower level Digimon that is either level 4 or level 3 and have it battle against one of your opponent's stronger and higher level Digimon, so then you can get maximum value to delete it. Returning the opponent's Digimon back to the hand is also very commonly seen, especially when it comes to blue cards and often with level requirements depending on the effect of the card. Most commonly seen cards that have these kind of effects would be Mirage Galgamon, Old Force Vigimon, and Kakaida's Breath, which is where it all originated. Even though returning the opponent's Digimon back to their hand may not seem as great, since they still have access to it again in the next turn, it is exceptionally good against a lot of purple decks because it actually bypasses the on-deletion effects, which we talked about earlier, where outright deleting them isn't as great as it seems. Other than returning to the hand, there's also effects that actually return the opponent's Digimon back to the bottom of the deck. Cards such as Absolute Blast, Rattle Star, Pale Jomon from Starter Deck 9, and even Imperial Jomon Paladin Mode all have effects that bottom deck the opponent's Digimon. There are also a couple of green cards that can do this as well, such as Nidhoggmon, Ground Fang, and Hydromon. 
For those who have been following me on the channel for a while will know that I think this is one of the best removal tools and mechanics of the game because it denies the access of the card to a certain degree where most games don't tend to last as long for the opponent to cycle back to that particular card. However, just like direct deletion effects, there are a number of cards that have protection against this particular removal, both returning to hand and bottom decking, which are mainly from Greymon tribal decks once again, and various black cards. But even though both these different removal methods are still really handy against certain matchups and very great when it comes to establishing advantages in specific situations. Next, there is DP reduction. This mechanic is mainly seen in yellow cards and archetypes, and the goal is to reduce the opponent's Digimon DP. There are various benefits with this type of effect as it can weaken the opponent's Digimon so that your Digimon can be strong enough to attack over them. But the biggest advantage of all when it comes to this effect is that when you're able to reduce the opponent's Digimon DP, down to zero, and this will immediately delete it since a Digimon with zero DP cannot exist. The really nice thing about DP reduction effects is that you can stack multiple at times to take out a larger opponent's Digimon or use them bit by bit differently from separate effects to take out smaller ones. But another really cool thing is that it can also bypass other unique mechanics of the game such as Armor Purge 2. During the early stages of the Digimon card game, this removal mechanic was seen to be one of the strongest from many different yellow based decks such as the BT2 Shine Greymon, Yellow War Greymon from BT4, and Lord Nightmon when it dominated in BT5. Even in the newest form of the Shine Greymon in BT13, it continues to dominate and have a lot of great applications to DP reduce opponents Digimon. Furthermore, there are only very few cards that actually counter DP reduction directly, and some examples would actually be Doru Greymon, Metal Greymon X from BT11, Gankumon X Antibody, and a couple of handful of cards. And for all the pros and reasons that we talked about so far about DP reduction, I personally would put this as one of my top removal effects on the list. Another unique form of removal from yellow is actually also placing the opponent's Digimon into the top of their security stack. The two notable cards during the time of making this video are mainly Chaos Degradation and Long K at the Stack Toe. Both these removal effects are remarkably strong, which can technically be argued for it to be even stronger than bottom decking or DP reducing. That is mainly because there aren't any cards that can protect against it other than Congo and Alphamon from BT13 at the moment. It also bypasses the deletion effects of what makes Chaos Degradation exceptional is that it trashes the opponent's top security stack after, and this gives you the choice to place the opponent's Digimon either to the top or bottom of their security stack to gain valuable information at the same time. As a result, this is just as good as straight up deleting the opponent's Digimon with its 8 play cost without actually deleting it, technically even better than Gaia Force. Despite being a very powerful removal tool, there are quite a number of drawbacks with both these cards and that is mainly because it will cost a lot of memory for you to use them. Additionally, there are also specific conditions on top of it where Chaos Degradation requires you to have yellow and purple sources in order to use this option card. And as for Long K, it requires the user to have 3 or fewer security cards in order to be able to send the opponent's Digimon to the top of the security stack. Another pointer for Long K is that you're actually adding additional card to your opponent's security stack and it technically slows down your own win condition which isn't really ideal. Looking ahead, we can expect to see that this effect can be applied along with more Digimon cards other than just options which can eventually make it even more powerful and with fewer drawbacks potentially and if that ever happens, I would clearly say that this is going to be one of the strongest removals within the game. Moving on, there is the Digivolve which is an exclusive mechanic for black cards. Many cards such as Chikurimon, Infinity Cannon, and Blitzgreymon can de-Digivolve the opponent's Digimon. The idea of this mechanic is to trash the top card of your opponent's Digimon by putting them back to the prior levels, weakening the stack. Some cards can also de-Digivolve multiple times depending on what is written on the text effect, such as de-Digivolve 2 or 3 and so on. Although it doesn't take out the opponent's Digimon directly, it still eliminates the stronger top end cards which is very very useful. D-Digivolve is often accommodated alongside with deletion effects afterwards based on play cost, and that is where it strongly emphasizes the synergy of both black removal tools. Some card examples would be Ultimate Flare, Laser Cannon, and DG Dimension. One of the other advantages of D-Digivolving is that it actually doesn't cost a lot of resources or setup for it to happen, as it is usually built into many black based archetype decks alongside with the main combos such as BT9 Alphamon, Dark Knightmon, Chaos Dramon, and BT8 Metal Greymon which all do it seamlessly. 
Additionally, there isn't much protection against the Digivolving either. For the most part, there's only really Metal Greymon X from BT11 and a handful of other cards that are straight up unaffected by the opponent's card effects such as Balfamon and Craniumon, making it a very, very strong removal. Now for Arrestogermon's superior mode, it has a one of a kind of effect when it comes to its removal. So far, there are no other cards that has an effect that tucks your opponent's Digimon away under another Digimon that your opponent controls or a tamer. There is quite a lot to go through for this one, so let's break it down bit by bit as this effect starts with a level 3 Digimon, but for every tamer you have with a different color, you can increase the maximum level of that particular Digimon that you can tuck away by 1. Although having multiple color tamers set up seems very difficult, Arrestor German's superior mode comes from the Hunter's deck which can easily set up multiple tamers with different colors. Therefore meeting the requirements and conditions is pretty much part of the entire game plan that flows nicely all together. The next requirement is that the opponent needs to have another tamer or Digimon for you to tuck it under, meaning that Arrestor German's superior mode's effect is almost equivalent to getting rid of the Digimon entirely for the rest of the game against all the other decks. It is also possible to get creative at times by placing the opponent's Digimon under one of the another Digimon that they have that is suspended and then you can use one of your own Digimon to swing over it to get rid of two bodies at once. Furthermore, there's pretty much no protection against this effect other than the BT13 Craniumon or the Brylujumon from Star Deck 13. So for those reasons, this is exactly why I personally think the Arrestogermon's superior modes effect is probably one of the best removals of the game up to date. Other than effects that immediately remove Digimon, there are also several secondary effects that can aid with taking out the opponent's Digimon. Suspending is one of the main effects that we've seen from green, so that it allows your own Digimon to swing over the opponents afterwards. Depending on certain decks, it can give a ton of advantage, especially when paired up with piercing effects for maximum value. However, I personally feel that this is not as reliable compared to all the direct removal effects that deal with the opponent's Digimon immediately. Stunning is another form of effect that technically can be considered as removal, and that is because it prevents the opponent's Digimon from attacking or blocking for an entire turn. This is most prominent when it comes to Blue Flare and the Blue Hybrid deck back in BT7 format. Although the idea is not to directly remove the opponent's Digimon, it does render the opponent's Digimon useless for a whole turn, and it almost virtually makes it feel like you're removing it entirely from the game temporarily. And that is because one whole turn is usually more than enough to establish huge advantages for your own deck and then potentially even win right afterwards. Since we covered pretty much everything related to removal, let me know what you think is the strongest removal currently in the game. I also got another question for you too. Do you think trashing security is overpowered? If you do or if you don't, come watch this video right now and join the discussion with all of us. As always, thank you so much for watching. You guys have a great day, great night, whatever you are. See you next video in this vault. Signing.